Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Now, I highly apologize for the wait and the fact that there's not going to be an unboxing, but you see, I was trying to clear up some space on my device and I accidentally deleted the unboxing, so yeah, sorry. But here's part two of the video, and um, so everything that comes in this set is King Ghidorah, an Argo Jet, and a Destructible City. The first thing I want to check out is the Argo Jet. It's pretty detailed for its size. Does it look like its movie counterpart? Well, I would say yes, as long as it had a bit of weathering and the blue windows as the picture shows. Like I said earlier, the detail itself is, for the most part, accurate. I like the underside, like where it's got the engines or whatever it is that propels the jet. I don't know, I'm not really good at aerodynamics, but whatever, it looks good. Now let's take a look at the destructible buildings. The destructible buildings, or city per se, is pretty nice looking for its size, like the jet, and for some reason it sort of reminds me of Metropolis. I know, kind of weird. I'm not sure why. I think it might be that building towards the right, looks like it has a clock on it, kind of looks like the Daily Planet from the comics, but here it is next to the 2014 Destruction City set, like where the buildings, you could also crush it. Here it is next to the King Ghidorah, you could also smash it like this. And finally, let's take a look at the star of the show, King Ghidorah. Oh, oh no, oh, it's flying towards the camera. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> the new Ghidorah figure looks awesome. I absolutely love it. The heads kind of resemble a lion, because I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that these figures are based off earlier concept art designs, so they won't look quite as accurate as their movie counterparts, but I don't care, it's amazing. I'm not sure what the white eyes are about. That's kind of odd. Looks like the 2001 Godzilla, but I don't know. It's cool. The necks are cool. They're kind of like in an S shape. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. It looks nice. Cool. The feet are very dinosaur-like and very theropod-esque. Much better than the old Ghidorah feet, which kind of look like human feet covered in golden confetti. I'm just being honest. The legs are nicely detailed with some bumpy scales towards the top. And I like how there's a bit of brown highlights that really helps bring out the detail. However, as far as paint on this figure, it is a tad bit bland, I'm sad to say. Even one of my commenters noticed this. The paint is very bland, and they could have at least taken some inspiration from the SH Monster Arts figure, which is very nicely detailed, and the paint helps bring everything out. I'd have to say the place where this figure shines the most are the wings. They are very nicely detailed, especially in the midsection where it connects to the body. That looks fantastic. You can see every single little scale and detail, even the veins right here. It just, it's all perfect. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. The detail is nice in the outer wing too. You can see the bones, the connective bones, and there's also, I guess you could say, a opposable thumb. It's a little bit too long. I would have shrunk it a little to be in proper proportion with the figure, but it looks nice on the tail, nicely detailed. I like the dry brushing. It's kind of odd how it's only on one tail though. I think they definitely should have painted the other tail. I don't know, it could be a paint defect on my figure in, in particular, but I don't know, I can accept it. It does kind of make it look like it's dirty though, that one right tail, but I don't know, what can you do? The articulation, it's simple. It's nothing like NECA, definitely nothing like SH Monster Arts, but it's still good enough for a toy, at least. So all the heads can swivel on different points in the neck, which gives it a little bit of extra, like a, an extra touch, which I like. So they can all swivel on the neck, and then, um, oh, it fell off, dang it. <sighs> oh. The wings can swivel on a midpoint in the middle of the wing, which at first I wasn't really a fan of. It's because, oh! The legs can kick forward this much and backwards this much, which isn't really all that much, but whatever. I said much a lot, dang it. So um, this, the, um, the tail can swivel to the side and make it a cool like flight position, which looks very cool. And then moving on to what, uh, oh, we're done. Sorry I'm acting so goofy, but you see, I'm recording my narration at exactly two o'clock sharp in the morning. Well, 2.12, but whatever. Yeah, it's horrific. Between takes, I drink tons upon tons of water. So that concludes the review of the seven inch Jack Specific Ghidorah. Oh, is it six inch? See, it's two in the morning and I can't think. 
A lot of people use the 3 inch scale Ghidorah to fight Godzilla, but in my opinion, the 7 inch or 6 inch, again, I have no idea, Ghidorah actually scales up much better with Godzilla and is a much better diorama piece. So that concludes part two of this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here.